seven step cleaning process. This is a standard method for cleaning all areas unless otherwise specified. The seven step cleaning process is designed to maintain the highest standards of EVS cleanliness. This procedure can be used as a reference or checklist and is not intended to imply that all of these steps must be completed for each cleaning. We will review the following steps on this video. Step 1. Pull trash and linen. Step 2. Complete the high dust process. Step 3. Damp wipe all contact surfaces. Step 4. Thoroughly clean the restroom. Step 5. Dust mop properly. Step 6. Damp mop all appropriate areas. Step 7. Inspect the work according to the EVS standards. Step 1. Pull trash and linen. Remove all liners and reline all waste containers that contain waste. Remove the soiled linen bag and collect linen from room. Check the needle containers. If a needle container is 3 fourths full, follow the facility's specific guidelines for replacing the needle box container. Step 2. Complete the high dust process. High dust using the EVS standard high dusting procedure. High dust everything that's above shoulder level or out of reach by using an extension pole with an adjustable contour high duster head. Include all adjacent rooms, for example, the bathroom. Never high dust above the patients or visitors unless the room is in need of high dusting. Step 3. Damp wipe all contact surfaces. Start by cleaning the sinks first. Use a dry cloth or paper towel to polish both interior and low level glass to a dry, streak-free appearance. Damp wipe all contact surfaces by following the EVS damp wiping procedure. Wipe everything you are able to reach. Use the disinfectant damp wiping solution for all contact surfaces. If cleaning an isolation room, check what kind of isolation and follow the proper cleaning procedures. For example, if cleaning a C. diff room, use C. diff cleanser to wipe all areas. Our assigned C. diff cleanser is called Steriplex. If cleaning a TB isolation, use Virex TB. After spraying disinfectant, start wiping at the door and work around the room in a circular pattern. Be sure to include wall spotting, light switches, call buttons, telephones, wall moldings, dispensers, window sills, and all furniture and all hand-touched areas. Follow the EVS waste receptacle cleaning procedure to make sure all waste receptacles are free and clean of all debris, dirt, smudges, and contamination.
Step 4. Thoroughly clean the restroom. Thoroughly clean the restroom and any restroom type fixtures that are part of the room using the EVS restroom cleaning procedure. Start by the door and end with the toilet. Use the bowl mop only for the inside of the toilet and wipe the outside with a disinfectant damp wiper. Do not use the cleaning wiper on any surface after cleaning the toilet. Step 5. Dust mop properly. Dust mop the floor using the EVS dust mopping procedure. Dust behind all furniture and doors. Be sure to move whatever is possible. Step 6. Damp mop all appropriate areas. Place a wet floor sign at the entrance before you begin. Start damp mopping in the corner furthest from the door and work your way out. Mop out corners to prevent buildup. Step 7. Inspect the work according to the EVS standards. EVS standards include the following. Reporting any needed repairs, especially drape and curtain cleaning and replacement requirements. Correcting any cleaning deficiencies. Ask yourself, is the room acceptable to EVS standards? <laughs>